Hello everybody and welcome back for the season 24 finale here in Abu Dhabi, round 12 of round 12 and for the final time on F123 joined alongside me in the commentary box is of course Colin. Evening Nick, evening everyone. Uh, well, this is going to be exciting. We've got everything for this race. Um, of course we got our custom weather. Um, which is randomly done. I know everyone seems to think that uh, the wet Abu Dhabi was fiddled, but I can absolutely assure you it was completely random. Um, and of course, we've got two titles to decide. Yes, we definitely do. We love a championship showdown, and what better way to do it in mixed weather conditions with a couple of engine penalties thrown in. And then, of course, the final round is a sprint round, which means reverse grid to get us underway here in Abu Dhabi for the sprint race, which is dry, um, followed by uh, a wet to dry um, main race. So really looking forward at the improved, in my opinion, Abu Dhabi track layout. And for the final time this season, Colin on F123 with yourself in the commentary box. Yes, I can't believe how quick a season's gone. Only seems like yesterday we were doing qualifying night. Um, and it's just absolutely flown by. The, the racing in P3 has been amazing. I mean, last week it was so close. Um, M125 did get his uh, drive through penalty removed at the end of the race as the game issued it unfairly. Um, unfortunately, Papa received a 10 second time penalty for contact with Rage Man. So his initial. Uh, victory was i think he dropped down to third in the end um but the title's still not over so at the moment papa trails m125 by 24 points but of course we've got sprint and the feature race so there's 23 points on offer in the feature race uh, for a victory and faster slap and 12 points in the sprint nick so all wide open still yeah, and of course, the top two fighting for the championship will be starting um, towards the back of the grid, pending any engine penalties or qualifying bans from the stewards. Um, so it'll be exciting to watch them try and fight their way forward. They've both been fantastic drivers um, all season, and it has to be said that I, I'd be um, more than happy to crown either of them champion here tonight. But the racing gods will decide what the racing gods do. You've also got the battle for P3, Colin, in the Drivers' Championship which involves quite a few drivers. Yeah, it does. So currently sitting in P3 is Whopping Provo on 117 points. And only one point behind is Rage Man on 116 in fourth. Then you got Jamie on 105 in fifth. Shelby in sixth on 103. And Jess in seventh on 102. So the battle for third is wide open. I mean, we've even got Hooky on 92 in ninth, and Matthias in 10th on 90. So there's only 27 points covering 3rd to 10th. So trying to keep up with that tonight is going to be interesting, Nick. Yes, yeah, hugely competitive uh, in this P3 tier, and um, chance to get your hands on a trophy. We want to, we, we've seen the two McLaren boys who are separated by a point um, as we head into the final uh, round of the season work quite closely together, particularly in the races um, but I suspect we won't see much of that tonight. Um, although I do believe Rage Man um, is going to receive, is going to be referred to the stewards and probably receive a penalty as he hasn't taken a new engine this season. So he will be able to finish tonight's race without it blowing up because he missed a race earlier on in the season. Um, but he will be referred to the stewards for not taking an engine penalty. Of course, Colin, every uh, driver has to take a new engine at some point during the season, and he failed to do so. Um, Shall we just run through who's taken engine penalty here tonight? Yes, so at the moment, the driver's taken an engine penalty this evening is Evil Dragon and Felix. So if I quickly run through the grid, I haven't got long, but in first place will be Trunders, uh, then OKK. In third place will be Dr. Mew, fourth Fozzie, fifth Mason, sixth Ghost, then it's Marcy, Jack, Matthias, Hookie, Cowboy, Jess, Shelby, 
Jamie, Rage Man, Proverb, and our two title protagonists, Papa Squanch and M125. Yeah, and then of course, followed by Felix and Evil Dragon, who are the two drivers taking a new engine, and therefore will line up at the back of the grid. We do have a couple drivers not participating tonight, so you might see some of those drivers move up the order slightly. But the drivers have selected their strategy, and shortly they're going to be going to the grid. No qualifying here tonight, of course. Uh, we'll be heading straight into the sprint race. And don't forget, the sprint race is dry. That's been confirmed. But the weather for the main race is going to go heavy rain to dry conditions. And will that mean that we feature some sort of uh, intermediate tyre in between? We will have to wait and see. Yes, it's going to be very interesting what they decide to do. So... For the drivers that are listening to the stream, please remember to load your setup. Uh, very easy to forget with uh, with no qualification. So just remember to load your setup. So that's what the drivers will be doing now. Um, some might risk going more uh, higher downforce setting to help them in the rain. Uh, if they're not feeling very confident in the rain of avoiding spinning and, and retiring, they might end up. Uh, nudging the wings up but of course that will affect them in this race um, the tyre strategy I suspect most will start on the medium tyre if not all um, and fuel is not a problem around here so uh, I suspect they'll be taking a bit of the fuel out of the car as well all to play for here tonight for the finale um, missed last week so I hope um, you, you enjoyed having uh, Colin, who were you alongside last week, Colin, in the con spot? Was it Mac? It was Mackie, yes. Um, and he did an absolutely tremendous job. Fair play to him. It was absolutely brilliant. Um, yeah, and a very exciting race to commentate on as well. Canada always is. But full focus here in the dark under the floodlights of Abu Dhabi. I feel this has really made a stamp on the F1 calendar as being a season finale. Um, not just in R1 hub racing seasons, but also, of course, in real life. So, as we sit here in the pit lane, we won't get much notice um, until the drivers head out on track. You will see the red lights appear on the screen, and then it's go time. So, we will try and get the spectator menu sorted as quickly as possible as we head into Turn 1, which is a relatively short run uh, down into Turn 1. But, as you mentioned, Colin... How much do you think that drivers who are going to up the wings for the rain are going to suffer here in this sprint and later on in the main race? Yeah, that is the negative side of it. They're going to struggle with top top speed. Um, uh, so the drivers near the starting near the back, I suspect, will go for the lower lower downfall setting because they need to move forward, uh, and they can only really do that if they've got decent uh, straight line speed. Um, but it's going to be very interesting what they decide to do. Um, yeah, like you said, Nick, it's a short run to the first corner. Um, my experience with league racing is usually um, a bit of chaos in turn one round here. Drivers going wide and, and, and front wing end plates disappearing off. Hopefully we'll have a nice clean start. Um, but the drivers at the back, you know, they're going to be... They're going to be quite desperate to get towards the front as quick as possible. Yeah, definitely. They've only got 10 laps to do so in this sprint. And then, of course, the main race will, the grid will be decided from where they finish in this sprint race that we are just about to start. So here we go. Here Perfect we go. timing. Five red lights are on. You can see just below the Pirelli sign. Drivers lined up on the grid, waiting for the lights to go out. And they've gone out. So... Away we go. Trunders leads us away with Dr. Mew alongside. You can see two Alpines close behind. And looks like Fozzie hasn't got back in his car yet. So Trunders has got away well at the moment. Um, yeah, so Fozzie is in the session. Needs to rejoin, take control of his car. A few drivers have fallen down. The order proverb is up. Papa Squatch is up. M125 trying to follow his championship rival through. Um, and there's a spin there. I think that's Dr. Mew spinning round at the hairpin, uh, the famous overstake of Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton. Fozzy, I think, is back in his car and holding on to second position, yellow flags in sector two. Looks like we're going to go three wide in the back here, Colin. Well, I mean, what a disastrous start for Mason and Dr. Mew. They started quite high up. Um, 
but so our biggest winners at the moment evil dragon up up six places felix up seven papa squanch up six places so he's in the top 10 already and he's fighting matthias oh and this and matthias hits the back of hooky so that and hooky is right round there virtual matthias safety car no front oh so this now will drivers so we know matthias with no front wing there he's gonna box so they're gonna jump onto the soft tires i wonder with any driver uh, take the risk We're gonna have to wait and see Yeah, the ghost and Fozzie ghost did get ahead. They went side by side through the long sweeping left-hander as you um, Just before you come into sector three literally side by side the whole way round. So um, yeah Well done to them for keeping that clean, but uh, both Alpines up there currently in second and fourth the Trunders did get away well over a second gap so far and you can see hookies in the pits as is proverbs so that's not going to help proverbs chase for third position in the championship but of course um 12 points up for grabs here down to uh one point for 12 position and we can see the williams and ghosts look like they were going side by side in fozzy's left position so that explains that and felix is up nine positions by the way so a fantastic start from him pulling any other action that you caught that we might have missed on the stream? Um, no, I don't think so. Um, obviously, we saw Matthias hit the back of Hooky, um, which we're sent underway. him down to Hooky's down to 13th, and we're yes, we're back under green conditions. Interestingly, by the way, Popper has gone for the soft compound attire from the start. So how will that play out um, as the race develops? Of course, that little virtual safety car appeared will have helped his tire life not pushing at full speed you can see them come around oh as felix goes completely off track easily done there though so, and then there's a bit of a gap between um 12th and downwards as he's back in so rageman currently in 12th position uh, followed closely by hooky wait for the drs of course to open it'll be two laps from the start of the race I mean, I, I'm still astonished. I know Papa Squanch on those soft tyres, but what a start from from him. And he's, yeah, now he's got, with Fozzy now out of the session, he's up to sixth with an as M125 up into ninth. Oh, Evil Dragon's round. The Mercedes man took a new engine for this race, spun at turn one. So not sure whether that was contact with another driver or um, whether that was on his own accord, but uh, recovered. Back going again in 14th position um, just behind Jamie. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, Evil, uh, I only caught the end of it there, but he's obviously lost a lot of positions and a lot of time. Um, but he's right on the back of Jamie now. Is he going to have a go into the chicane? He's in the inside. And a nice clean move there from, uh, from Evil. And he's up into 13th. Oh, top two are battling as well here, Colin. Are they going to try and go side by side? No, the ghost backs off, lifts off uh, slightly as we head into this um, much more open sector three, shall we say. Double left-hander here. Use plenty of curb. Don't um, get too close to the outside wall there. And it uh, looks like this Alpine has the pace over um, the Aston Martin at the moment. Yeah, definitely, and, and Marcy's causing a bit of a train behind him as well. He's got Cowboy, uh, Shelby, and Papa Squanch right behind him. Shelby there setting the fastest lap of the race, uh, and he's the improvement from Shelby of the last few races has been tremendous. He really is putting in some really quick times now to, to bring himself back into this race. But look at the top two, Trunders just keeping ghosts behind him as they head down the back straight. Proverbs sets the fastest lap, but I have a feeling we might see a pass for the lead here. Let's ride on board with Coast, see if he can get the move done. And yes, DRS is open, and he thinks better of it into um, the first part of this uh, pretty much flat out sector two. Trying to get on the traction, sometimes difficult to get better traction than the front, but he's got the DRS open again, and he's going to try and go around the outside before the corner here. What a beautiful helicopter shot, and the Aston Martin doesn't put up too much of a fight. And that is Ghost taking the lead on lap four of the ten lap sprint. Yeah, that was a that was a great move. He um he he sized him up very well there. Now has he got the pace to 
to pull away from Trunders. Trunders having a great race at the minute. Oh, as he makes a small mistake there, with Shelby now right on the back of him. So, using plenty of curve with Shelby there, almost pushing him through the final corner here. Looks like he wants to uh, get on with things. He'll have a chance, of course. Another double DRS zone coming up. Just getting ahead of Felix as Felix comes into the pit lane. So he'll drop right down the order. Uh, I imagine right to the back of the field. As things stand, by the way, oh. uh, Popper is ahead of M125. So the championship will continue into the main race. And you can see the Haas driver of Cowboy and Marcy battling. But look at this. Popper's taking full advantage and just done the switchback. What a brilliant move that is. I was on board with Marcy heading round turn two. He had a huge sideways moment. And look at this with three abreast into the chicane. Papa on the inside and they all make it through nice and cleanly. Great move there from Papa. He's going to have no DRS. Yeah, and you can see Cowboy's right on him. He might lose those two places. He just gained in the braking zone. And he has nothing he can do. He tries to go back up the inside. He needs to use the advantage these soft tyres are going to give him in terms of grip, um, particularly through some of these high-speed corners. Uh, but it looks like um, that didn't really do him too much favour getting the job done into the first um, end of the first DRS zone. No, that's right. Oh, Shelby gets a three-second. Now, of course, with only ten laps, that is crucial. So at the moment, he would drop three places. So he's really going to have to push now, but you can see... Papa Squanch right on the back of, of Cowboy. Cowboy defends into turn one. I respect Papa, Papa a lot to do this, to, to take the soft tyres, be aggressive like this when you're fighting for a championship. Obviously, he's quite a few points behind, but he's obviously tried to do something different and absolutely go for it here. He goes defensive into the hairpin and almost hits the back of the house there. He will get the benefit of DRS now because he is behind. The house. So that helped him defend with Marcy, who looks quick, by the way. Yes, he really does. But you're right, Nick. What a brilliant, brave call uh, to go for the soft tyre. Um, I think that is absolutely brilliant choice. He, he knows there's a relatively large gap to uh, M125. Um, and he knows he's got to go for it. He's got to risk things. Um, and it's paying off at the minute. It really is paying off for him. So, we can see Cowboy up into fourth position now. And they've got to be careful because Shelby might be able to, in the next few laps, get that. Oh, look at this. It goes very tight into the... Oh, and looks like Mercedes is driven around the outside of the Haas. What's with that extra that grip. So, the soft tyres aren't dead yet, Colin, but the gap is almost three seconds now between himself and Shelby in third. Yeah, so now he's got a... So at the moment, he's a net P3. But of course, these soft tyres, now they're going to come to the end of their life now. They are definitely, the mediums now, I would have thought, would be the better tyre. Um, so what can Papa Squanch do? But look how much he's taken out of Shelby already. He's taken three tenths out of him in, in about four corners. It's absolutely on fire. M125 doing what he needs to do, currently in seventh position. Uh, his teammate up ahead in fifth. I wonder if there'll be any team orders there tonight. Um, the two Alpha Tories at the back of the field. And you can see here, Shelby is trying to look at this. Cowboy has got back ahead. So that Haas has some serious straight line speed. It really, really does. Both the drivers, they've pretty much used all their ERS fighting. Um, Cowboy now defending against Papa. Can Papa go around the outside? He tries it! No, he, he didn't. It's such a difficult thing to do to try and hang it around the outside there. Uh, he, great driving from the pair rhythm, really is. It's um, the three of them now, actually, with Marcy joined in the fight. This is great racing. Not really doing. Uh, All the Mercedes. Oh, Evil, Dragon, Evil Dragon goes wide as well, Colin. And um, your dad. J.L. Mason comes through into 12th position with uh, Rage Man following him as well. So um, action happening up and down the field. But look at this into turn one. Thinks better of it, does the Mercedes man. Tucks in behind. And uh, look at this, Marcy all over the back of them as well. Looks like Cowboy is about to get um, outside of that three-second window. 
Uh, it's hovering at the high two point something. Fozzie's back in. He's obviously having some connection issues. And Shelby just still trying to get past uh, Trunders. But Ghost absolutely sailing away with this one. Yes, don't forget now. So the sprint race. Uh, there's points on offer down to 12th place. So Mason there currently the last of the point scorers. Uh, but Rage Man is... Ooh, is just behind him, just in the DRS zone. Uh, Mason is actually catching his teammate Hooky at quite a fair rate of knots at the minute. I don't know whether Hooky's made an error, uh, but look at the top. Look at the three, four, and five. They're at it again. As you said, so difficult to go around the outside of that corner, um, but there are a couple of lines you can take through there. Shelby's almost pushing the Aston Martin through this uh, final sector. You have to say, if he could get past, he does look like he's got more pace than Thunders. Yes, I think he does. Um, but of course, that three-second penalty is really going to hurt him um, with only two laps to go. Yeah, he needs to try and get the gap over three seconds if he wants to keep that will keep a podium position whether it's second or third at the moment uh, Cowboy as I mentioned has some serious straight line speed in that house so I wonder if M125 who's by the way come to join this battle and there's been an incident who's that round well, that so is he, out of the last corner yeah he um I was looking at his uh, lap times on TAS and he was struggling. The last three laps, uh, both Mason and Rageman were catching Uki at quite a rate of knots. Um, and of course, now he's, uh, he's overheated his tyres as well. Um, I will check to see if he actually has any damage. Um, I'm not sure whether he has, but I will double check. Popper um, and Cowboy still going side by side. And whilst these lot have been battling, these three, M125 has cut a two second lead. Shelby's on the inside of the Aston Martin, trying to go side by side. They give each other room. So M125 have closed up two seconds, but the Aston Martin has now been released. I think for Trunders, he knows if there's a three second penalty to come, then he should just try and. Oh, there's been contact. That was lag. I have no idea what I happened there. I think then. it might have been lag, yeah. I think it does seem that way. Uh, as we got a yellow flag in sector three. But look at this. M125 on the last lap now. Now, if he passes Papa Squanch, he is champion. So if he beats Papa Squanch, he will be champion at the end of this lap. Can he do it? Will he risk it? Will he just settle? Will he just take the points? Not try anything risky? What Papa would you Squanch do, Colin? I would probably settle if it was me, I think. I, it's so easy to make a mistake. But if you get a run, you've got to go for it. I agree. I think if the opportunity presents itself, you have to you have to send it. But Marcy up into third position now. And you can see the two championship rivals going side by side into the first part of this corner. The Haas in front has got to be careful. He doesn't harm his teammate more than he helps him. But it looks like this could be a championship winning lap for M125, who I think has been let go by his teammate. Can Popper do anything about this or are those tyres absolutely and completely dead? Where have we seen this before, Colin? Final lap in Abu Dhabi, where it's just this not working out for the Mercedes. No, I know. It seems to be a jinx from the Mercedes cars at the minute. Um... Oh, big slide there from, from Papa Squan. She's given it everything. He's done so well to make these softs last. He really has. Ghost comes oh, across the line to uh, take the victory in this sprint. Trunders comes across. Marcy takes third. M125 takes fourth. And he is your season 24 P3 champion, finishing ahead of his closest rival. He falls down to seventh position. There was obviously a bit of contact there. But the Haas drivers, fourth and fifth, that could potentially win them the constructors as well. We'll have to confirm that with you. But, um, wow, what a championship ending lap. And it has to be said, Popper put up a brilliant fight there um, to try and, you know, do something different on those soft compound tyres. But ultimately, he just didn't have the grip at the end. Um, but he did fight with everything he had. Yes, you are right, Nick. I've just done the maths. That confirms... The constructors' title for the Haas drivers as well. Uh, so M125 will be going home with two trophies. The drivers 
and the constructors. Um, but I've got to give credit to Papa Squanch for going for it with those soft tyres uh, and making them last as long as he did. That really was a real great effort from him. He's driven so well all season. Um, he's been a bit unfortunate uh, with timings of safety cars this season. They haven't been his biggest friend. Um, but what a what a tremendous season uh, both M125 and Papa Squanch have had. So now it's going to boil down to who's going to take that third place. Yes, it definitely will. And um, we can see the advantage just at the moment as she finished higher up in that battle than any of her rivals. Rage Man in 10th there. Matthias as well in 11th, probably up into 12th. So remember, 12 points for first, 1 point for 12th in this sprint race. But Colin, do you want to quickly run us through the order? Yes, yeah, so Ghost takes the, the sprint victory with Trunders in second place. Marcy finishing up the top three. Then we have M125, Cowboy, Jess, Papa Squanch, Fozzy, Jamie, Rageman, Matthias, Whopping Proverb taking the last of the points in 12th, Mason in 13th, Felix in 14th, Hooky in 15th, Shelby in 16th, Evil Dragon 17th, and Dr. Mew finishing off in 18th. And look at the weather. Not often you see heavy rain here in Abu Dhabi, but our adaptive weather system chose the finale to end up with some rain so uh yeah very interesting looking forward to um racing myself later tonight in these conditions around here um can't say i'll keep it pointing the correct way but the puddles are deep in the pit lane fozzy's rejoined the lobby obviously having some connection issues um but let's just quickly talk about the what, what drivers have to do mentally after completing what was quite a hectic and aggressive sprint and shelby's left the session now um, to try and refocus and get their head around um, what they might want to change on the car for this uh, heavy rain period of the race. Yeah, so one thing I, I suspect they're going to do is they'll probably up the diff a bit. Um, they might alter the tyre pressures, and here we go, we're off, the lights are coming on. They didn't wait long, and you can see Ghost lined up alongside with Trunders. So as we get away, you can see how tricky it is. Both Ferraris having slappers. Um, on the rear of their car as we head into turn one looks pretty clean so far one of the has using a little bit of runoff area oh and there's a car in the back there into the barrier that's Matthias and Felix both ending up pointing the wrong direction but Ghost already have a one second lead with the pole position giving him a clean run to turn one you can see some of the order changing as they go through this hairpin here, very wet here in Abu Dhabi, which is unusual. Yeah, certainly is. It's going to be something the drivers are not used to, so they're obviously all on the full wet tyres at the minute. Um, oh, as Ghost just makes it round the chicane, you can see them struggling so much on traction and on braking. Um, you know, this, they're not used to this. The only time they would have ever driven uh, where Abu Dhabi you would have thought would be practicing for this race as Fozzy DNFs. Fozzy is out of the race. Where's that happened? That looks like it's on the straight. Yeah, I think it is on the straight. And he's left the session, so yellow flag still. Will we see a safety car? Look at this for the lead. Trannis is trying to go around the outside of Ghost. As Ghost made a mistake, he's on the outside now, and it looks so tricky. In these conditions, the, tra the traction looks absolutely diabolical. It's so difficult. It's so difficult to get your foot down. I've tried it myself in practice. And, of course, you, you don't want to compromise your setup too much because you know the dry conditions are coming. Um, so you, you, you're pretty much compromised for this. Um, but you can see how much the drivers are struggling. But no major, other than Fozzy, no major incidents. Drivers are doing very well at the minute. Yeah, yellow flags in sector three again. Uh, Popper has made it back onto the podium here, so M125 was holding that third position. And we can see that Rage Man is squabbling with his teammate and Marcy. Marcy having a good race here tonight, pulling down the order slightly from where he's going. He's got McLaren on the right and McLaren on the left. Be careful not to tag each other's wheels. 
as you ride on board. Who's going to have the better straight line speed? No DRS, of course, Colin. No, no DRS at all. Uh, they're gonna, oh, it's so tight. The, see, this is where the drivers, you can see the difference now, the straight line speed difference between all the cars. Um, but Ghost seems to have pulled away from uh, Trenders at the minute, and Trenders is under big pressure from Papa Squanch. Yep, also under pressure. Um, you can see the two Haas drivers. Uh, Proverb started this straight. Um, in eighth position, currently in uh, sorry, started in ninth position, currently in seventh. So gained a couple of places. Marcy having a bit of a snap. Um, so currently the battle for third. Um, Prova is leading the way on that one. Doctor Mew moving ahead of Matthias further down the field. Not sure what's happened there, but uh, perhaps some contacts. And yeah, Jess coming in to join this battle now as well. Yes, Jess is. She's really put herself in a nice position she had a great result in the in the sprint race um and she is pretty he's much in right the... on the back of marcy oh hook yeah he's missing oh, an end plate too. he's missing oh, an end yes. plate colin so what will he do will he stay on the wets will he risk and try and extend a set of inters even though it's you know not quite ready hopper is literally pushing um, the aston martin through this first sector he's going to try and get the job done around the outside it's um, a move which seems unlikely, but his previous championship rival, I say previous, because the championships are done and dusted, and the Mercedes man is looking to make a move. Doesn't look like he's got good straight line speed here, though, Colin. No, you can see he's, he's really struggling to make any ground on the straight. Um, despite, ew, he's going to have a go. Oh, so close. I think there was a slight bit of contact. Now... That was quite a big contact there between M125. Trunders and, and Papa Squatch. Yeah. yeah. Look, look at this. Three wide. Trunders has gone from second to fifth. Make that sixth. Of... Make that seventh. He's really struggling. Now, has he got damage? That's the question. I will check Taz to see whether he's got any. Uh... The field is so bunched up here, Colin. This battle all the way down from second down to kind of 10th position um, is crazy. You don't often see this in the wet weather conditions, the, the gaps this small. No, you don't. Usually there's a big spread in these conditions. But the drivers, look how close they are. I mean, Ghost is driving so well at the minute. He's got a... There's another fastest lap from Ghost. He's got a three-second lead over Papa Squanch at the minute. Uh, as Mason, as Proverbs in the pit lane. Evil Probably Dragon went off at the end of the first straight, by the way. He's missing a front wing. He's got going again after some maneuvering, shall we say, uh, back onto the track. So he'll have to come into the pit. And Prolog, as you mentioned, in the pit lane for a front wing change. And he's gone back on the wet weather compound tyres. So it, it still looks pretty wet out there. Yes, it does. It's, um, it's, gonna, it's far too soon um, for intermediates at the minute. Um... It is, I, I, I can see a dry line forming now. So I don't think intermediate conditions are that far away yet. But of course, for the drivers who had to box for front wing changes, etc., it was far too early. They would have never made it. They would have lost too much time. Um, Proverb, Hooky and Felix all having to come in in these wet weather compounds. Jamie, by the way, is up to fifth position. So he's taken advantage of all of this and um, come up. Uh, come up through the field to into the top five and uh, of course the two house drivers not that far ahead yes uh, i'm just looking at jess now she's also on the back of uh, trunders so trunders is really struggling at the minute um maybe gone for the for the um a, a drier setup so maybe his race will will come alive once the the conditions improve but uh, jess right on the back of trunders at the minute Yes, and Evil Dragon, by the way, has retired in the pit lane, so he will take no further part in Season 24, as we see lots of flashing of yellow flags. Not sure what that's for, perhaps the Mercedes car in the pits. Uh, not too sure, but no safety cars so far. Lap 5 out of 29, quite a long race, particularly in the rain here. Um, and you can see the pop-up is now 1.8 behind Ghost, um, who hasn't had as much pace in these wet weather conditions as he showed in the sprint. 
No. Um, he has. He's struggling a little bit. Um, but look at the gap between Papa Squance and 125. It's 3.8 seconds. Uh, but Papa Squance is closing on Ghost. So that gap was nearly three seconds. It's now only two. Um, so Papa Squance trying to end the season in style. Um, and Mason now is right on the back of Jess. Um, Mason's had a bit of a nightmare the last three or four races uh, with a couple of DNFs and... If I just check Simgrid, yeah, so he's DNF the last three races. Um, so the last race he DNF'd, and then the previous one, which was another sprint weekend, DNF from both races there as well. Uh, and then the 14th, 13th, and 13th. So I think if Mason can stay in the top 10, I think he'll be delighted with that. Um, and he is catching Jess. He is indeed. Looks like he's got a bit more of a stable rear on that Ferrari than uh, some of the cars in front. As we head through this third sector, you can see the rain has lightened up slightly. And who's this coming into the pits? Jess is coming into the pit lane. Is this going to be for a set of inters? Jamie's doing the same. So the Red Bulls are double stacking here tonight. Lap six, we're on. This is lap five that they're coming in, though. Oh, I think this might be a mistake from the Red Bull team for double stacking. Um, Just lost a couple we'll of seconds, I think. Yeah, it wasn't too bad, actually. Uh, they obviously thought that they can gain more by going on the intermediate tyres, uh, as Whopping Proverb sets the fastest lap down in 13th. Uh, but Proverb, he's currently sitting third in the championship. Uh, but all his rivals are ahead of him, so we really going to have to push hard now. Yeah, it has to be said as well, Cowboy, we haven't spoken that much. He's been a bit of a driver who's gone under the radar this season. Um, but with it, without his valuable points, Haas would be nowhere near uh, have won the championship. So um, a big shout out to Cowboy, who's uh, not been that too distant from his teammate in terms of pace. Um, wasn't able to, you know mount a championship challenge but um he's still he's still shown good pace and been a valuable member of that past team uh, struggling on the rear though as he follows his teammate through this third section with rage man um behind him followed by marcy yeah um i'm just looking at rage man's results now so he's he has had three podiums hasn't quite managed to get a victory this season um he's had a couple of dnfs which derailed his championship challenge a bit uh, as ghost papa and m125 are in the pit lane interesting so cowboy deciding not to um double stack so has jess and jamie actually got how the red bulls got this right um, or have they called it too early? We'll have to see. Jamie was in fifth position before his pit stop. I know that. So let's keep an eye on where he comes out. The top three carry on on wet weather compound tyres. Yeah, this is going to be very interesting now to see where they come out. Um, Mason in the pit lane. He was about a second behind Jess uh, before the pit lane. Uh, but of course, Jess did get held up. But look at the difference. Look at that. The, the, the choice to go to those intermediates that early paid huge dividends for Jess there, despite being um, held in the pit lane. So that was a great strategic call by the Red Bull drivers. Yeah, they obviously discussed that before the race um, because it still looks quite wet to me, but choosing to go early onto those inters has gained them time, Jamie now 3.8 seconds behind what will be, well technically he'll be in, he'll be in third position as things stand, he's jumped M125. Yes he has, I didn't spot that, yeah you, you're dead right, he has jumped M125, so coming in that lap early was very beautiful uh, strategy. Um, yeah, I know Jess and uh, Jamie, they are in uh, in a party together when they race, so they obviously communicated that that was their plan. Um, and you do, think that, you do think now that these top three are going to lose out quite dramatically. Let's see where they come out. Um, Ghost will obviously take, take the lead with Papa in second, as it was before the pit stops. But where is Marcy Ghost? And Rageman going to appear. 
Yeah, because um, I think Cowboy was about a second behind his teammate um, before the pit stops, but he's going to lose out massively here. Yes, he really is. Uh, Rage Man now up in seventh. We know that he's got a, a potential penalty coming his way from the stewards due to the engine. Um, but look at Jamie now up in third. What a great drive he's having. He's, uh, he's unfortunately he missed uh, last, last week's race, which did derail his uh, fight for third a little bit. But he's doing everything right at the minute, and he's putting himself in a great position to try and take that third place. Yeah, Proverb all the way down in 13th position now, so really lost out. Uh, I think maybe he had to double stat uh, in the pits. So that's not too shabby at all but just uh, as we mentioned the other red bull has gained you can see the track is drying out now so we do expect it to go to dries uh, it has been in the past though colin where it just stays kind of into weather um, for the rest of the race race uh, but will we see any more overtakes here or have things settled down a little bit ready for the dry conditions safety cars haven't come out but are quite likely here in Abu Dhabi. Yeah, um, I'm looking now, and, and Cowboy is he's starting to struggle a little bit here. Um, and Jess is right behind him at the minute, um, fighting for fifth and sixth. A um, couple of the surprising at the minute. Felix, Dr. Mew, and Hookie are still on the wet weather tyres. Now, I'm very surprised that they have not boxed for the intermediate tyres. Um, oh, has we got a yellow flag? It's Hooky. And I think it's Hooky. Yeah, I did suspect this. He is on the wrong tyre. I must suspect that he's going to box. No, he doesn't. He carries on. You can see him actually struggling in that Ferrari, though. So I don't know if he's got damage, uh, more damage than perhaps we can see. But Hooky, it's been a season to forget for him, really. He showed glimpses of his blistering pace. Um, and, you, you know, you'd expect him to be up there fighting for at least the top three. But he's just made too many race ending mistakes i think uh is what we've got to put it down to yes i think uh i think even hooky will admit it's a missed opportunity for him um he's driven tremendously well in in quite a few races uh, obviously taking that victory um in round three i think it was um but one two three four five dnfs really did derail his championship uh, despite having a first and two seconds to his name um but it's a bit of a learning curve for him um he's definitely improved with his consistency there's no shadow of doubt there um but if he can just limit the mistakes on the next game i really feel he can uh, fight for a championship yeah two things there colin um rage man got ahead of jess uh, on that latest lap and Popper scorched at um, two consecutive fastest laps and is now within half a second of your race leader ghost I think Popper has a slightly uh, higher downfall set up here um, tonight so he needs to take full advantage of these conditions before the dry arrives yes he's really gunning for it um, I'm really impressed with Papa Squant's attitude here he knows the championship's gone um, but he's really, oh, as he outbreaks himself in, into the chicane. How he didn't miss the back of Ghost's car there. Um, lo loses himself a couple of seconds, but he's definitely got the pace to try and fight for this, uh, for this win tonight. Yeah, so easy to lock up there, particularly in these conditions, but even in the dry. Marcy all over the back of Trunders for this is for 8th and ninth position. Can you do anything with the uh, with the battery to try and get alongside into this left-hander, this long sweeping left-hander, a much better choice of corner compared to what we had in previous years and seasons. But no, the Aston Martin trying to hold along the outside, which will become the inside and eventually give us the position up, Marcy up into 8th position. So, uh, and Dr. Mew's gone on to mediums. Well, that is very surprising. Um, I think, I mean, I can still see the rain coming down. Um, it still seems to be a lot of water on the track. Yeah, he's really struggling. Um, 
he can't really keep it in a straight line. Yeah. But it's worth the risk. You know, he's at the back of the grid. It's worth a shot. Um, but he's going to struggle to get any temperature in the tyres. Yeah, just on board with him then, and he couldn't stop the car into the into the first chicane. He's really... Uh, yeah, I think this is too soon. Yeah, and then you've got, obviously, Hooky and Felix, who have stayed out on their wet tyres, just losing so much time. Um, you know, Hooky's just lost two seconds this lap alone to the tyres, so it just shows you, Abu Dhabi, you've got to be on the right track at the right time. Speaking of Hooky, he's just spun at the final corner again and has just been passed. Oh, and he spun for a second time, oh. this time into the barrier, lost, and a safety car. So he's lost his wing there on the exit, trying to recover his car, and he's brought out a safety car. Now this is interesting. Now our driver's now going to think, right, let's go onto the, onto the soft tire, or, or dry tire, any dry tire, um, because there's going to be a few laps under the safety car, and by then, will it be dry? Um, I honestly d wouldn't, don't know what I would do in this situation. This is a very difficult call from the drivers now. Are they going to stay out? If I was hooky, I would certainly attempt to go on mediums or, or the hard tyres. Yeah, so um, Papa comes into the pits. So he was in second. What tyre is the Mercedes man going to fit? It's going to be the medium, medium. tyre. Because, of course, it's going to be difficult to get hard all the way to the end. It's going to be hard to get through 18 laps, um, Colin, and possibly doable with some behind the safety car. But the Mercedes man has gone on to a set of medium compound tires, which I don't think are going to get to the end. No, I don't think they'll get to the end, no. Um, but is it the right call? Is it is it too wet? Uh, obviously, we've got a couple of um, a laps under the safety car. We know the dry conditions are coming. We know it's going to get sunny. Um, so at the moment, and Rage Man's in the pits as well, is he going to risk going on to, uh, to the dry compound of tyre? Um, no, I think he's okay. come back out on a fresh set of inters. Now that's an interesting call. So maybe he's thinking of stretching those inters a little bit longer. Not sure what position he was in before he came in, Paul, whether he lost a lot or or not i think he i think he was up there wasn't he in sixth yeah i think he was in sixth i think he was just behind jess i think uh so a strange call to box for inters um as hooky's in the pit lane and hooky's going on a set of hard tires so he's thinking now i'm gonna stay on these to the end of the race and Felix is going on to medium tires so let's just have a quick look about who stopped twice because of course in one hub, you have to make two mandatory pit stops. So Papa's done that. Uh, so has Proverb. So has Rage. So has Felix. And so has now Hooky, who's currently in the pit lane. And, of course, we are still behind the safety car. So um, this will just extend the time that it'll take um, for us to get back to full racing speed, of course. But, as you can see, Felix drifting through the corner exit there. I do think this is potentially playing into the driver's hands who have gone on to a set of dry compound of tyres. Yes, it does seem that way. Um, it's whether they can get those tyres to switch on now when the safety car comes in. Mason's it's in. Gonna be tri and Mason's in the pits. So and Mason decides he wants the hard tyres as well. Now, I know that Hooky and Mason also go in a party together. So did Hooky uh, pass on information to Mason to say, do you know what? These hard tyres, they aren't that bad. He um, slowed down as well through the chicane. Um, so that's interesting. Mason's going to come out. So Mason only lost two positions from that? Um, yeah, so that's quite a clever call, I think. Um, and interestingly, only the two Ferraris have gone for the hard tyres, which are the only ones I think can get to the end of the race. I think Popper's going to have to stop again. So will Felix and Dr. Mu, um, but it is still very wet out there, uh, Colin. They're going to they're gonna have to try and play a little bit of a game here to make sure that they don't catch the safety car field up for another, on this lap so that it stays out another lap, I think. Yes, I think that's 
I suspect that's what Hookie's trying to do here. Um, but of course, you don't want to do it too much because the safety car will go without you anyway. And then you've lost that, that time where you could have caught the pack up. Um, I'm just on board with Hookie now, and it's there is certainly a dry line. And I think it stopped raining as well, Nick. Yeah, it stopped raining. So I think these drivers have made the right call now. Oh, as Mason gets a drive-through penalty for falling too far back. So he couldn't keep... He didn't stay within 10 car lengths of Rage Man there and gets a 10 second time penalty. Sorry, gets a drive through penalty. And he makes a, makes a small mistake then on the exit as well. But we're still under safety car conditions. I don't know whether your mic is uh, muted, Nick. Sorry, Cole. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Um, <laughs> interestingly, these drivers are taking... I mean, M125 just put mediums on. They're going to struggle to go to the end of the race. Um, and they've decided to fall, you know, kind of six, seven, eight places um, behind the safety car, but get their pit stop out of the way. Really interesting strategy here tonight. This safety car has changed everything. It really has. Uh, unfortunately, the great decision by Mason to um, to go for the hard tyres has been derailed at the minute because obviously he's got that drive-through penalty to serve uh, and he cannot do it under the safety car. Yeah, I was just saying when my mic was muted that that's so frustrating because he wasn't purposely not trying to catch the safety car pack up. It's just he's on cold, hard tyres and he's just... You're just struggling, you know, to get up to temperature. So, of course, your pace might not be at certain parts of the track as quick as what the safety car is able to do with the cars behind. Really frustrating. Um, but perhaps there'll be another safety car after he's served it where he can catch the field back up. Because I, um, I think there's lots to play for here as a safety car is coming in this lap regardless of whether the drivers at the back are going to catch up. Yes, I just uh, watched Mason's on board there, and uh, despite the fact that Mason was going as quick as he could, the game thought he was falling too far back um, and gave him 10 seconds to catch the pack, and it, uh, it wasn't quite enough, so Mason's race has gone a bit pear-shaped at the minute, uh, but we're about to get going again. Yeah, Felix might just catch the pack up, um, depending on how slow goes goes through this final sector because the safety car has not even reached the final corner yet so it's just coming into the pit lane now and ghost has gone ghost has gone early so will he get held or has he timed this well felix isn't going to be able to catch up the pack neither will the two behind them so look at that getaway as we're seeing drivers come into the pits now Yes, I was just seeing then, and, and they all peeled off. I was, I was quite surprised to see how many pulled into the pit lane there. Um, but it does look like it's, it's the right tyre to be on now, the, 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 uh, the slick tyre, whichever one you choose. Um, I've got a feeling that Jamie could come out in the lead of this race um, once these top guys box. Yeah, interestingly, um, those who pitted under the safety car... And we, we were saying they've given up six, seven, eight positions. They've just gained them all back. So that was the right call to box the lap before the safety car came in. Yeah, that's right. And, and look at Mason. He's up in fifth place, but he's got the drive through. He must be so frustrated. Um, pr proverb now in seventh place with Marcy overtaking him. So we know Papa Squanch and M125, Rageman and Felix, they, those medium tyres, are not going to last to the end of the race. Only the hard tyres. So Marcy is looking in a tremendous position at the minute. Same with Proverb and same with Jamie. Yeah, if Mason didn't have that penalty, he would have been what we think will be, would have been leading the race as he holds off the McLaren. Will he come in this lap? Oh, as he pushes the McLaren over the kerb and then they make contact um, as Hookie gets himself a 10-second penalty 
the cut in the corner. This this season is uh, well, this race, sorry, is a race to forget. Popper heads into lead on those medium compound tyres with guess what? Your champion for the P3 tier following closely behind, both on mediums and we think having to stop again as Mason comes in to painfully serve this drive through penalty. Yeah, um, Jamie uh, now in eighth place. Um, sorry, now up into seventh place uh, with Cowboy Pit in. But I'm surprised they go in for the medium tyres. Do they think they can last that long? Um, I'll be very surprised if they do. But uh, oh, as Hooky adds insult to injury with a, with another three second time penalty. I think he'll be retiring in the pits here. I have a feeling as he comes in on these hard compound tyres. Yes. Yeah, such a shame. Um, strange decision when there's points still available um, and still 13 laps to go. I think frustration got the better of him there. Um, but but look at the lead that Papa Squanch has got now. Um, as Cowboy, he is all over the back of Jamie. Jamie yes. driving a, a very good race. Yeah, he's... But it, Cowboy seems to have the pace with those medium tyres. Yeah, the mediums are going to be a lot more grippy here, um, but I just feel like they're not going to make it to the end of the race, so anyone on cars is sitting um, in, a, in a better position as DRS is now enabled, so quite late on after the rain actually after they've gone on to dry tyres and we saw the rain uh, stop on the screen, so now DRS will be available Rage Man's on the back of uh, Marcy, so the McLaren uh, drivers are looking um, to have a good result here tonight. Cowboy's still on the back of Jamie, of course. That's the seventh and eighth position. Jess is inside the top ten. Trundles is now outside. Shelby isn't in the session. Um, and Joe Mason, after serving his penalty, is currently in 13th. Yeah, as Matthias gets a three second time penalty as well. Um, it is one of those tracks that is. It's not like Canada where getting the, uh, a corner cut in warning is as easy as pie but there are certain corners where you've got to be a little bit careful so we've got three drivers so far with time penalties um, Proverb in third with a time penalty that really is a shame for him because I believe he's in the net lead of this race with, with Papa Squanch and M125 we suspect having to box again yeah, what's happened to Jamie here? Fallen down the order. Um, yeah, Cowboy's able to get the job done. So on those medium compound tyres, as Papa is absolutely rapid. He just keeps oh, saying that. M125 <laughs> just reminds him that I'm the champion. And then Rage Man follows closely across and said I'm coming to join this party. So it looks like it could be a good result here for McLaren. But the big question here tonight, Colin is going to be can these medium compound tires go to the end of the race we definitely think dr muse can't felix's is going to be a stretch poppers is going to be a stretch um, but can those on four or three lap old mediums take them to the end of the race i would say the only one who's who's got any sort of chance is probably cowboy um but you can see how hard papa squanch and a one two five are pushing on these medium tires so you know, they're going to really start to struggle. I'm just going to have a look on TAS and just to see what their level of tyre wear is. But Papa Squanch pulling away from M Dunn 25 at the minute. Uh, Whopping Proverb two seconds ahead of Rage Man with uh, McLaren having a great race here at the minute in third and fourth. Yeah, Marcy as well had a good sprint. Looking to follow that on with a good result in the main race. So following the McLarens, um, who are currently third and fourth, as Papa is just opening up that lead over five seconds between himself and M125. Of course, where the track is constantly drying out still, you will see that fastest lap constantly tumble down, uh, particularly those who are going to start doing DRS. Let's jump on board with no chance to just about the fast shall we into this uh, hotel search for the track was under the Yes, Marina Hotel there, and um, would love to stay there one day, and um, yeah, oh, that's so frustrating for, for J.R. Mason um, to have to serve that drive-through in what would have been, um, you know, a, a podium potential position. 
Yes, um, I just realised, uh, obviously, Shelby still hasn't got back in his car. Um, still, he left the session and, unfortunately, hasn't uh, been able to get back in. Um, Shelby's had a lot of bad luck with uh, connections and, and power failures this season as well, which hasn't helped him. Um, but at the moment, Wapping Proverb doing what he needs to do to take that third place. Yeah, definitely. Ghost looks like he's got those uh, hard tyres fired up and uh, chasing down Jamie and Cowboy for 7th and 8th position. Uh, P2 tier is live, by the way. Um, although we'd be sad to see you go before the end of this race. 10 laps here for the P3 tier to finish off the season. Uh, but, of course, a highly contested championship in the P2 tier over there. So, um, if you fancy staying on with us and then joining the P2 tier afterwards, uh, it will be hectic as the championship battle involves multiple drivers and is very close heading into the final race is of the season so races of course because they have a sprint and a main to follow yeah and obviously that uh, type championship the drivers championship yet to be decided in that uh, in that particular race as well so they'll be fighting for that today um but papa squanch look at the gap he's pulled out now on m125 in just a couple of laps he's now up, it's up to 5.3 uh seconds papa squanch showing telling m125 you might have the championship mate but i'm not letting you win this race he is really gunning it but we've only got nine laps to go and he doesn't seem to be struggling on his tires at all at this stage so is he going to be able to make these tyres last, or is he planning on boxing? We will have to wait and see. Yeah, Proverb has closed to within two seconds of the cars in front. But if we have a quick look, you're going to see that he has a five-second penalty that he'll have to serve at the end of the race if he doesn't come in, unless he's able to go to the moves, of course, by the stewards. And then Felix has three seconds, and Matthias, who's just about to pass Shelby, has six seconds left of penalties so as you mentioned i think that would be a a good um what shall we say a good statement to make from popper heading into season 25 on the new game if he was able to take the finale of course won the first race of the season so um just the bit in between that he needs to work on or have a bit better luck because colin when you win a championship you do need luck as well you do uh, you know, we see it in Formula One, uh, in the real Formula One. If you haven't got any luck, or you have bad luck, when the title's this close, it really does make the difference. Um, I know a lot of drivers say you make your own luck. I personally don't really agree with that. Um, but there's no doubt that Papa Squanch and M125 have been... Um, the class of the field um, despite it being you know quite close between the top three um, both Papa and M125 really um, showing their consistency M125 a little bit more consistent than Papa um, and having the most wins this season so one two three four five wins including sprint races for m125 papa squanch with two victories um but it just shows how, how championships can change in the first race papa was first and m125 was uh, was down in 11th um so it just shows you every point counts it definitely does. And speaking of points, the two Alpines are absolutely charging at the moment. So Marcy's still behind um, Rage Man. Um, but if those hard tyres don't go to the end, um, I can see him being in uh, the race winning position at the moment because obviously Proverb has that five second penalty. Ghost just got past Cowboy and is rapidly chasing Felix down now. Um, so yeah, those two Alpines have absolutely come alive since the track's dried out. And you can see now Marcy is getting the job done on the McLaren, who fights back. Gives him a little squeeze on the on the rumble strip there. 
And as we say, that proverb takes second place from M125. So now, now is, 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 is M125 starting to struggle on his eight lap old medium tires? Uh, Papa Squanch certainly isn't, um, not at this stage, um, but proverb doing everything that he needs to. He does have that five seconds at the minute, so he's really got to go for it. He's still actually got, so M125's got Ooh. 70%. Oh, sorry. I think he, uh, did he touch the wall there? Do you I know think what? He, I think it. I think he did. On the it exit. It was really close. If not, oh, as Marcy gets a big sideways moment out of the last corner, chasing down Rage Man. Uh, but I feel as though these these time penalties, um, they're going to be crucial. Um, I'm not sure what Proverb got it for. I think it was for speeding in the pit lane, if I remember rightly. Yeah, although, was it crossing the pit lane line? I had a feeling someone got something for crossing the pit lane line. Um, I'm not 100% sure why that would be a standard 5 second penalty. As Rageman now gets a 3 second penalty. So that's going to help Marcy even more. As he is about to get the job done with DRS into the chicane. Will the McLaren fight him back just as hard as he did last, last lap? We will have to wait and see. Of course, he'll get DRS now. As he exits the chicane, difficult though to get good traction out of that corner. Uh, do you know what? I think Mason's made a very clever call here. Um, Matthias passed him and he's gone on for soft tyres. So I think he's decided, do you know what? I'm going to go for fastest lap. Uh, obviously, we got there's two points on offer for fastest lap uh, one from the top 10 and for the second uh, or for the bottom for the bottom 10 and I think that's what Mason's trying here yeah as M125 got back ahead of Provo so um, both of course who have penalties but those medium tyres of Papa really don't seem like they're um, showing any sign of giving up the go but uh, all to play for particularly with these McLarens Marcy what's going to happen um, difficult to call the podium here tonight Colin as Ghost gets right on the back of uh, Felix dragged Cowboy along with him Yes, I'm just so impressed with Papa's pace on these medium tyres. Um, I didn't think they'd last this long. Um, but Rage Man now, he's got DRS on Marcy. He got a yellow flag in sector one. Now, just trying to work out who that is. As Proverb takes second. And Ghost takes sixth from Felix. So all happening into the break. is only we're three wide now. And Cowboy's got ahead of the pair of them. Uh, into sixth position as he heads into uh, the chicane. So, and then the top two, uh, sorry, the second and third are swapping positions again. So, um, just happy to keep passing each other in the DRS. So, what's Ghost going to be able to do here? Is he going to try and go around the outside of the house into the long left hander? And he is able to do so up into sixth position, but almost eight seconds now behind the top five. Yes. Um... Just looking further down the field, Trenders uh, passes Jess to get into the top 10. Um, Trenders obviously a late addition uh, to the league, um, and he hasn't had a lot of chance to practice either. He's in the middle of, uh, of moving house. Um, but you feel as though if he re entered every single race, you know, he would be right up there. He's really driving well at the minute, and um, I'm hoping to see him do a full season um, on the new game with us and, and and mount a championship challenge maybe yeah definitely um as you can see we're not completely under the lights here in Abu Dhabi because we still got four laps to decide and i got a feeling colin all these medium tires are definitely going to try and go to the end here yes which surprises me greatly um but there's only four laps to go so it's not really worth pitting at this stage um you know, the, the, the benefit of new tyres is not going to counteract the 20 odd seconds for a pit stop. So, yeah, I think they were all going to go and push to the end now. Um, as Rage Man and Ghost fighting it out again. Great racing throughout the field, but especially between Rage Man and Marcy. I mean, they've been at it hammer and tong for lap after lap after lap. Uh, unfortunately, Rage Man with that penalty. That's. That is going to drop him down the field, but he's driving. Um, he's driving very well lately, Rage Man. He made a few errors uh, 
over the last couple of uh, races prior to Canada. Uh, Canada drove absolutely superbly well, same as here in Abu Dhabi. Yeah, you've got lots of battles uh, happening here as we uh, enter the final stages of Season 24. And will we see the McLaren um, trying to go down the inside of um, M125? Of course, your Season 24 P3 champion, uh, Popper, meanwhile, is absolutely pulling away as though his life depends on it. Um, so he looks set to win this race unless he has some sort of puncture. Then you've got the, the next two who are fighting. Rage is fighting with Marcy. Of course, Marcy doesn't have uh, any penalties, so could jump up the auto. Ghost, um, I think that's probably as high as he's going to be able to get, unless he can close enough to take advantage of some of those penalties. But he's got his hands full, holding off Cowboy, Felix, Jamie, who are all within DRS. Marcy gets ahead of Rage, man. Yeah, they're at it again. They just... They're just fighting each other lap after lap after lap, perfectly cleanly as well. Um, they really are driving very well. I, I think um, Rageman's getting a, will start to get a little bit frustrated because he knows he needs to get the move done and try and pull out um, a couple of seconds to counteract his time penalty as Matthias gets another time penalty uh, in 12th place. Yeah, those time penalties coming thick and fast as uh, we have entered um, our final few laps of this season, Colin. Um, obviously, we've got battles going on, but I want to I want to kind of ask you for your uh, thoughts on the season as a whole uh, for this P3 tip. Oh, it's been absolutely brilliant. It's been battles from from first down to the lower places in every single race. Um, I mean, we've had everything. We've had a bit of controversy. We've had incidents, we've had great overtaking, great battles, and, and credit to all the drivers, the respect shown between each driver this season has, um, has been absolutely fantastic, and, um, you know, I think it, it shows uh, what the community should be about, you know, race as hard as you can, but but show respect and, and sportsmanship at the end, which, to be fair, every driver has done in this tier. Just a couple changes as you were talking. So Probo, uh, sorry, Rage is back ahead of Marcy. Jamie got ahead of Felix after a lot of weaving down the straight from uh, the Alpha Toro driver. So Jamie up into eighth position now, but lost out slightly from the two ahead of him. He's going to close that gap up. Ghost has closed about second and a half to Marcy, so really be able to take advantage from those coming to the right. Marcy could be on the second position here night after going the podium in the sprint race and um colin i just want to say um obviously it's been an absolute pleasure commentating with you this season um it's been great having the country box for the first time ever and um, i know jess and jamie have had a fun and fun evening last month so congratulations on how well you've done oh thank you very much um i gotta be honest i have now got the commentary bug um, I look forward to uh, commentating now as uh, equally as much as as, act as actually racing myself. Um, yeah, it's been fantastic to commentate alongside of you, and we've had some brilliant races um, to commentate on. Uh, the drivers have given us tremendous entertainment, you know, throughout the field, not just fighting for the top places, but for the lower places as well. You know, they've 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 really put on a great show for us. It definitely has, and you know something I love about um, the P3 tier is you get to see the improvement from the drivers um, from the start of the season to the end, which of course you see in all the tiers, but you get to see it more so in uh, the bottom tier drivers who you know um, were making mistakes and are able to you know hone their skills and move up the order, move up the championship um, throughout the season. But um, interestingly, the driver who won the first race looks set to win the final race of the season uh, but unfortunately lost out on the championship here tonight to M125 who's you know shown some brilliant racing throughout the season uh, and as you mentioned Colin there's been some controversy uh, there's been some, lots of overtaking lots of incidents for the drivers you don't necessarily like that particularly if you're on the, the receiving end of some of them but as commentators and viewers we absolutely love you know when there's a bit of controversy a, a, a bit of you know, argy bargy and those sorts of things, but most importantly, it's always been respectful. And as someone who's in all three of the tier chats um, throughout the season, 
um, I have to say that the P3 tier has been an absolute pleasure. Um, you know, of course, there's been incidents and we haven't always got on with each other, but the respect has remained throughout the season. And um, yeah, Colin, looking forward to hopefully joining you in the commentary box on the new game. Yes, without a shadow of a doubt, I'm looking forward to that. Um, but Papa now into the last sector. Um, I mean, he's, he's put he hasn't put a foot wrong all race. He has absolutely dominated this race. He has driven so well, um, and he's heading over the, into the last corner. Here we go. So for the final time in season 24, M1, uh, sorry, Popper crosses the line. M125 takes the championship. Um, but Popper, what a brilliant thing to do. Lose the championship in the sprint and um, able to get your head down and absolutely dominate, it has to be said, uh, the main race um, to lead by 12 seconds as M125 crosses the line in second. Uh, Proverb comes home in third. Marcy just misses out on a podium by two tenths of a second. Rageman oh. comes home in fifth. Ghost in sixth position. Jamie gets up to seventh. Cowboy lost out there somehow. Uh, to finish in eighth. Just jumps up to ninth. Felix in tenth. Trundos crosses a line just behind Felix in eleventh. And Matthias finishes in twelfth. We've just got JR Mason to cross the line along with the ghosted Shelby. Dr. Mew, of course, was lapped, so he's already crossed the line. And I just want to say, Colin, big thanks to the P3 tier drivers as well for having the highest average attendance out of the three tiers this season. Um, so it just shows you, as we always say at One Hub, it's not always about pace. Um, it's about showing up and giving it your all. Yes, exactly right. Um, now, I've done some maths, and I'm pretty certain... Now, obviously, these are provisional because there's could be potential stewards results but i do believe that proverb has managed to clinch p3 in the championship um after that great drive to get on the podium yeah just going to um just put my congratulations into the chat um for these drivers uh but uh yeah that was a lot of fun uh i can't think of a better way to to end the season m125 taking the championship um but getting beaten beat fair and square by his championship rival in the main race as we celebrate with some champagne. Ah, uh, what, what a tremendous season it's been. So let's quickly go through then the results on that race. Papa Squanch takes the victory. M125 in second. Proverb finishing off the podium in third. Marcy in fourth. Rageman fifth. Ghost sixth. Jamie in seventh. Cowboy eighth. Jess in ninth. Felix in tenth. Trunders in eleventh. Matthias twelfth. Mason thirteenth. Shelby in fourteenth. Dr. Mew in fifteenth. And Hooky, Evil and Fozzy were our DNFs for that race. Uh, but what a, what a season we've had. Um, I just want to say a big thank you to uh, yourself, Nick, uh, and to Jess and to Jamie for giving me the opportunity to, to commentate this season with you. Um, it's been absolutely brilliant, and I've loved every second. And um, looking forward to more commentary on the new game. Yeah, it won't be long before we uh, get lights out on season 25, but we've still got the driver today to pick. Uh, and for me, I'm going to go to um, Popper Squatch, not just for um, obviously dominating that main race, um, but obviously losing out on the championship in the sprint race the way he did, and then just having the, the attitude to come back um, literally, what, two minutes later, uh, into the main race, get your head down and uh, put a marker down for the new season before it's even begun. So he's uh, he's my driver of the day vote. And my question to you, Papa, is um, first of all, what a great attitude you showed. Um, how did you manage um, to bounce back from knowing that you've lost the championship in the sprint to dominating the main race? Colin, I don't know if um, you've accidentally muted, if you've done a mute. Yes, so, I'm <laughs> sorry, sorry about that. Yeah, uh, a great nomination there for, for Papa. Um, my Driver of the Day nomination is going to go to Proverb, our P3 uh, driver. Um, a tremendous drive to get it on the podium. And like I said, I think if my math's correct, that does clinch P3 uh, for the championship. Uh, so my question for you, Proverb, was... 
you seem to have great pace uh, for that race. Um, were you? What was your strategy going into it? Um, did you have a set time, uh, set lap that you were planning on boxing, or was it a bit on the fly? Uh, but what a great drive by uh, by all the all of the uh, drivers, really. Um, a couple of uh, honourable mentions, I think I'm going to give out um, for great performances. Rage Man uh, last week uh, around Canada. Uh, Jess obviously getting a podium. Um, in a couple, a couple of weeks ago. I can't remember what race that was. Though. I think it was two rounds ago. Um, they've been absolutely brilliant. Um, and a bit of biasness, but to Mason as well. Um, for those of you who don't know, he is actually 69. He'd be 70 in December. Um, and he's still pushing, still practicing every week to try and get good performances. Hasn't really gone his way lately. He's had a bit of bad luck and, and a few errors, um, but still pushing every week as best he can. Yeah, well said. And um, just to add to that, um, what a great guy he is as well. Um, love having him a part of the league um, and hope he continues um, to race into, well into his 70s, Cole. Um, so, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, Look forward to next season. Uh, I don't really know how else to end the stream, end the season, other than um, P2 Tiers Live. The championship is still up for grads. Um, so if you want to head over and see who's going to be crowned the P2 Drivers' Championship, uh, then do so over there with Mike. Uh, but yeah, Colin, um, just want to say thank you to everyone, all the viewers we've had, all the drivers. Um, for yourself, Colin, it's, it's been a pleasure commentating. First time for me back uh, in the cons box in quite a while. Uh, loved every minute of it and um, hope to be back next season. Um, yeah, big thanks. Yeah, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And a reminder to, to everyone that there will be an end of season stream uh, where we go through the, um, the championship results and there will be plenty of prizes on offer as well. So keep an eye on our socials, uh, keep an eye on the Discord, and uh, information about that will be, uh, will be shared as soon as possible. Uh, but for now, and for this season, one final time, good night. Yes, good night. And I'm glad you um, mentioned the final stream, Colin, um, because I haven't mentioned the, com uh, the um, sponsors. So um, just quickly, uh, to finish us off, Big thanks to Next Level Racing, who, of course, provide prizes um, to the drivers. Uh, Vespertine, who, of course, um, we do our merchandise through. Pure Sim Gear, who also provide uh, sim racing gloves or socks. Uh, proud partners with ERT. Uh, big thanks to them for their trophies and medals this season. And, of course, Sim Grid, who are powered by and Assetek Sim Sports, who provide merchandise and prizes. We couldn't do what we do without all of you. So big thanks. And uh, yeah, big thanks all around to everyone. Hope you enjoyed this season and we look forward to be back next. Good night.